Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I see you for a while. Thank you. Oh. Afternoon, everyone. We'll uh, start with uh, Chris from Sky. Thank you. Good hey, afternoon, Chris. Steve. How are you? Um, any, I'm very well, thank you. Um, any early team news for us, Steve? Um, Nuno, obviously, uh, Tavares came off at the Man City game, but um, fortunately, it's uh, it's not what we thought it might have been. It's uh, uh, it's not a serious injury, so um, so that's good. So um, he's, he's not far away. Um, apart from that, um, apart from that, we're okay. Danilo and Felipe, anything on them? Yeah, so so yeah, that's the same, same as what it was last last uh, last week. So Danilo's just just recovering from a um, sort of medium term length injury. Uh, he is back on the grass, but he's he's nowhere near being with the team. But he's definitely making progress. And and Felipe is an ongoing situation with his with his knee, so um, it's something that we're trying to manage carefully and um, trying to support him in the best way possible to, to you know give him the best chance of of being back involved. But um, he missed last week. He flared up a little bit, and um, like I said, it's an ongoing daily management situation with him. Brentford have had a more challenging start to the season this time around. Can you assess the challenge of them? Well, I don't know about challenge to start. We're on similar amount of, of points, and you know we we know how hard it is to to, to pick up points. So um, so I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Uh, what I do know is that um, um, as always against Brentford, it'll be will be a very challenging game, and they they test you. Uh, in a number of number of ways, um, and that's something that um, we have to be ready for. But at the same time, you know, looking forward to in terms of of uh, putting our stamp on the game as well, especially uh, here at home. So um, you know, a lot of players that you know have been at Brentford a while now, so they have that real connection as a team, and um, obviously that that can can be a, a good advantage for them. So so we're fully aware of um, of of who they are and their strengths, and 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 we'll always re respect that. But at the same time, it's a game that we're looking forward to for, for our team and um, one that we really want to commit to. And any team missing a striker like Tony will struggle, but three defeats on the bounce for Brentford, is this a decent time to play them? Well, we're not looking at it like, like that. Um, I think that um, we're, we're focused on ourselves. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, I know that Ivan Tony didn't play against us in, in the game here last season. So, um, listen, Premier League squads now are, are, are full of really good players and that's you know what we're trying to become as well so um, um, I'm not um, a big sort of looker into into what is perceived as form and things like that we we plan for every team to be at the very best and um, look at what their, their strengths are and areas where we feel that we can make a difference and uh, this is this is no different so um, so you know I've played Brentford personally as a, as a coach quite a lot over the last few years and and it's always been a really challenging game a lot of time for the same reasons and that's respect to them so um so yeah we we know as t as tough as every Premier League game is this will be no different but at the same time we've got to focus on, on, on ourselves and, and take our game seven points from the opening six league games and within that you've also played the champions of last season the runners-up mm. of last season Chelsea and Manchester United mm. How do you reflect on that? A positive start? Well, we're only looking looking forward. There's no doubt that that um, um, that group of games where, where there's some real challenges, events, you know, in going to them places that you just just mentioned. But at the same time, the home games that we've played there have, have both been tight games and um, and ones that we've had to work hard to get get the points that we did from them. So. Um, so we just take every game as uh, as it comes, and um, and and like I said, try and get what we what we can can out of it for, for sure. Out of the games that we've played so far, um, you know, regardless of of what the perception is, how hard them games w were or, or were, were going to be, um, we've taken positives from them, but we've also taken a lot of learning from them as well, and things that we haven't done well. And I think that's always the process that we try and we try and follow, and to put that together and be be better for the next game so um, so that's the, the cycle of playing from game to game and the process that as I said we use and um, at this present time we're well into the preparation for Brentford and uh, and hopefully by the time Sunday comes we'll be good to go Steve you use the word learning mm. obviously this is um, a, a very positive start compared to what was a bit of a challenging start last year what sort of lessons have you learned from last year you put them into place mm. I know it's an early 
time of the season, but you've already got the six point gap between mm. yourselves and the bottom three. It's a positive fact. Yeah, I think we, we, we're careful to compare to last season because um, things were very, very different um, in terms of the, the context of the, you know, the get promoted and all, you know, sign a lot of players and things like that. So it's hard to, to compare. Um, but, but at the same time, ha- having that first year back in, in the Premier League, you, you, you do have to quickly um, recognise, um, you know, the demands of the league and, and, it, and it does demand of you in every every way, shape or form. And I think that's where the learning is, is to just have a little bit of better real life experience of of what it takes to, you know, to to do well in a in a Premier League game and the preparation and the in the reviewing that goes goes into each game. So so um you know looking at the team now and looking at the team twelve months ago is not something that we really do. But having had last season, there is a lot of experiences that we went through that, that can help us going forward. Um, but they're only good experiences if you use them to to improve and get better. And um, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Steve, final one for me, if I can. Um, over the last week, mm. celebrated second anniversary here mm. at Nottingham Forest. Um, an incredibly eventful period, overwhelming, overwhelmingly successful. How do you reflect on it? Well, I answered them questions last week, really, and it's, I didn't think about it too much then, and I'm, I'm certainly think, not, not thinking about it too much now. It's probably this time last week I was thinking about going to the Etihad and facing facing Man City, and, and at the same time I'm thinking about um, um, Brentford now. If there's one feeling more than anything over the last two years, it's one of gratitude, really, of just being involved um, in in this football club and 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 the greater good of it and um, and with that you you know you're in a position of responsibility and you just want to to do the best that you, you can do and um, like I said last week we're, I'm only looking forward we're only looking forward and um, and we want to move forward hopefully in a progressive way and um, a lot of hard work um, to do that and um, every day is an honour to be here but I also understand the responsibility of my role and that's to um, Day to day to prepare the team and to try and you know to work hard and, and give the the, the, the players the, the best that myself and the coaching staff and the support staff can, can provide and hoping that it gives us a chance to you know to win games and you know maybe get on an upward curve. And realistically, it couldn't have gone much better. It can always go better, you know. It can always go better. Some some of the ups and downs of last season, you know. But uh, but listen, like I said, regardless of of results, it's it's a special football club. Everyone knows that and. Uh, to be part of it in whatever role is um, is, a, is a real honour, and I recognise that from from day one. But you know, we're, we're just working hard to to move the club forward, and that that for me will always be the most important thing. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Steve. Hi, nice How are to see you again. Um, you all right? Yeah, fine. So, Brentford. I know you just talked about them. I've got to cover a little bit of ground again. Three defeats. The old phrase, wounded animal always something to be aware of do you think they are perhaps in a sense more dangerous given that they have just come off the honestly back of three it's not things. something I'm, I'm i'm thinking about um it's we're only thinking about our, our, ourselves and what we can do listen we 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 um had spells you know where and i have as in, in as a manager where um you can you know lose a couple of games and then play really well the next game so um I'm honestly not thinking about that. I, I I know enough about Brentford over the years of playing against them to know what they can do as a team, and and I'm probably more thinking about that if if, if I am thinking about Brentford than 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 what you're saying. So um, you know, total, we'll always have total respect for an opponent, and you have to in a Premier League game because every club and 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 team has players that can really make a difference, and Brentford are absolutely one of them teams. You know, so. Um, so we, we'll be preparing for them to be who they are at the, at, at the best while, you know, more focused on what we do, you know, to make, make the game look like we want it to look. And that's going to be hard, like every, all of these games are. But uh, honestly, that's, that's where our thinking is. There was so much talk built up around your away, you know, the, your lack of away victories mm-hmm. last year. The fact you've got one under your belt so quickly. It felt last year there was an awful lot of pressure on results and performances at home. Has that just helped ease that a little? Uh, I guess you always want to have a great home record. Yeah, again, um, I just really understand this question because of the way that the form and the results went last year. But we, we honestly take it game by game and, and um, 
away games, we, you know, we know about the results there, but we, we, we always went into a game wanting to give our best, thinking that if we did certain things, we could get the right result. And at home is no, no, no difference. Of course, you know, the atmosphere at the city ground and the support that, that the team and myself and the staff get is, is very beneficial. There's, there's no doubt about that. And it's really authentic. And, um, you know, it's something that's been built up over a, a real history. You know, it's not new. Um, and, and of course, it, 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 it's benefited the team. But we don't take that for granted. We know that, you know, the, the most important thing that we've got to do is, is focus on what we're in control of. And that is playing the game as we want to play it and committing to a game plan and, you know, and using our, our, our values and our beliefs and our, and our way of playing to, to full effect. And like I said, that's always not not easy um, because of the opponent and, and what it takes to do, to, to do well. So um, so honestly, we, we're very clear about how we want to play. We're very clear about what we think it takes to do well in a game. Doing it is another thing, home or away, but we've just got to go into games committing to as best we can. And if we get it right, we will give ourselves the best chance. But that's only an if. We've got to make sure we commit to as best we can. You're a year into life as a Premier League coach. Mm, do you think about you're a, six. But yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> every week is a pressure, isn't yeah. it? Um, do you think you're a better coach than uh, you definitely. were a year ago? Yeah, yeah but I, I, you could ask me that every my fifth season and if you'd ask me after my first season and my second season yeah because like I just think like you know every training session every meeting every game that you play there's always something to take from it and um, you know that's what learning and experience is it's just about improving and you know I, I'm equally keen to um, to use the, the the negative moments and the bad times as much as the positive ones to learn because you know I, I believe that they can be the, the most beneficial at times and we don't we're not embracing um, or encouraging you know bad moments but we know that that happens especially as a, a football team and especially as a football coach so yeah for sure we're, we're learning all the time and um, um, trying to use that learning to improve and uh, um, if we can do that, we give ourselves a chance of 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 improving, and um, you know that's that's you know that's an exciting challenge, and and uh, you know one that we're that we're enjoying. And last year you did it was much talked about again. You mentioned it yourself. You brought so many players in. Mm. It was a tough job to mould that group together. Mm. You've had a smaller, more focused, perhaps job this time. How far away do you feel that this group, as it now stands, mm. are? To, to really click. yeah so yeah so like and that's sort of I mentioned about um, uh, Brentford and lots of other clubs will have real continuity in the the relationships in in their team and um, and I think that's that's a, a really good thing and it's something that in t over time we'd like to become as well but we haven't really got that now you're right we're not quite at the start of of being brand new if you like we're a bit further down the line but at the same time we still have got a lot of new players that have come this summer and even at the end of the transfer window and you know all of them players are at different stages of being integrated into into our team our club so so there's still that transition that we're going through and becoming the team that we hope to be over time but while you're becoming that you you know you need to win enough games and pick up enough enough points and um I've said quite openly you know we can't just throw all of these new players in and expect to become a free flowing better team it doesn't work like that it takes time with training with with you know the analysis with the education program you do around performance now as well as playing games you know players playing in the Premier League for the first time regardless of what they've done previously takes takes time to get up to speed some it takes longer than others and that's fine it could be young players older players you know everybody's different so so we are really back into now um, that process you know of trying to integrate integrate new new players and um, hopefully committing to that and finding you know uh, the right path and the right way and and really becoming a stronger team but I say that but I also say straight away that that's easier said than done and there's no guarantees and um, a lot of hard work needs to happen for for us to be to really become a free-flowing sort of connected team with and without the ball but um, we're going to give it a good go well done thank you you too thanks any questions from the back of the room? John, Jay? No. Oh. Pass the mic back to Jay. Of course. Thank you. Oh. That's the 
Hi, Steve. How are you? Yeah, you? Yeah, good, thank you. you. Um, I remember the last time we spoke, you mentioned about um, getting a squad and you wanted to play more the way that you want to play and the way that you see the game. How, how, as a coach, how do you do that while still getting the best out of your team mm. and getting the results? Well, I just think, like, like in the previous question, it's, it's, it's always a, an ambition to, um, to play to, a, to an, an identity in a real way. And I, I'm not sure if you ever really get there because um, you've always got to strive for for more. Um, so I just think it's like like I said like I said before. I just think it's really sort of living in the moment, understanding where you might be at with a certain with a team, with a certain player, with maybe even an area on the pitch, and trying to get it right for the for the the day and the next game, making sure that you're competitive in terms of getting the right results, but doing it in a way that that can build. An identity over the course of time, and um, we're very much in in that that process now. So um, yeah, we're enjoying it. We're not looking too far ahead, no further than tomorrow, really, and then and then the the, the match day against Brentford, and hoping to be consistent in our work, and like I said, build away, and um, you know, keep trying to be a better team than what we are now. And you mentioned there about it being step by step, game by game, and mm. you know, you don't look too far ahead into the future, but. How much do you start to enjoy that coming together or seeing those shoots of the way that you, you want to develop that? Again, um, I don't think we're there yet. You know, I hope one day I can answer that question and say that that's the case, but I don't think that's, that's, um, that's something to answer now. Um, and, um, you know, it's, you, you can have a way with the ball, you can have a way without the ball, but, you know, You've also got to make sure your you, you, the work ethic is right, the togetherness in the group are right, the spirit, you know, the the motivation. There's loads of things that have to come together to be a, you know, a, a high performing team. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're analysing and planning all areas of, of our game, and and doing it in a way we believe in, you know. And um, like I said, if we stay consistent to that and and the plan's a good one, then it gives ourselves the best chance of improving. But again, a lot of hard work. And I'm just finally, I'm just interested to get your uh, general thoughts on the standard of the Premier League season, how it compares to last season in terms of the competitiveness of Tim. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's never easy, that's for sure. You know, every every minute of every game, you have to be on 110 percent of your game. You know, at the moment you you drop it for a, for a split second is the moment you can you can get punished. You know, and. Um, whether that was last week at the start against City away or or other games, you know here it's uh, it's it's you have to be sort of bang on for from the first minute to the hundredth hour or whatever it may be. So um, it's just demanding in every way, shape, or form. But um, but it's one that we're really proud and pleased, and we want to be in um, um, and um, you know doing our very best to to succeed. Best of Sunday. Thanks. You too, mate. Thank you. Just quick one, Steve. The game last year with Brentford, obviously before the game, the groundsman got involved with the Brentford goalkeeping coach. Do things like that, the bit of needle, bit of bite, do they carry over or is that completely Not with us. Now? No, not with us. Not, not even thought about it, to be honest. Thanks, everyone. That concludes the broadcast section. We'll move to a written section involved at 10.30. Forgot about that.